we're Mac and Sarah, welcome to our channel. We've come for a long weekend away at one of our favourite campsites, Concierge Camping in West Sussex. It's late October, it's nearly Halloween, and the nights are drawing in. We're here for three nights and it's forecast for rain pretty much the whole time that we're here. It is the perfect time of year for cosy jumpers, comfort food and woodland walks. And maybe even one or two winter inspired cocktails. <laughs> so join us for a relaxing weekend at Concierge Camping. But first, a drink in the bar. Concierge Camping is located in West Ashling, just outside Chichester in West Sussex. It's an award-winning five-star luxury site with 27 spacious, fully serviced pitches and fantastic amenities. Now, back to those drinks at the bar. The absolute gem of concierge camping has to be this bar. So we've just settled down with a couple of pints. We've put our food order in hours ago for our Japanese street food. And we're very hungry, let me tell you. Um, we've actually tried some Ratham Estate uh, Czech Pilsner. Ratham Estate is actually where concierge camping is. So a nice home brew. We've just found some random Trivial Pursuit cards, so we're just making up our own game. There's no board, just a few cards, question and answer. A bit of fun. In what book is the pig, Wilbur, saved from a slaughterhouse by a spider? I know this one because I used to love this book as a kid. It's Charlotte's Web. Woohoo, correct. <laughs> what colour would you like? Uh, blue, please. Blue. Where is most of the world's fresh water stored? In lakes, rivers, or ice? Ice. That is correct. It is ice. Most of the fresh water on Earth is st stored in polar ice caps. You win. Hey, thank you. I am so food. excited for this. It's raining outside. <laughs> You got it? <laughs> it's really raining out there. We have ordered a Japanese street food feast. So a I've medley. Got, I've got a pumpkin katsu curry because I adore pumpkin katsu curry. And Mac has got a vegan chicken katsu curry. And then we also have some battered prawn deliciousness. Oh. And some squid. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> Regret. So you're going to try these delicious looking king prawns then? Yes, I absolutely am and go I'm very it. excited for this. How's that? Is it nice? I think it's good. Clearly, the speechlessness speaks volume. You're a good boy. We absolutely demolished those starters and they were delicious. They were amazing. We've left some green stuff though. There's still some salad. Oh, yeah. There's loads of this, oh so God. I ain't sparing it. I think I said already that I've been looking forward to this all week, and that is no exaggeration. And it hasn't disappointed. It's absolutely amazing. I have been thinking about this pumpkin katsu curry since the last time we were here in March. Is it as good as you'd hoped? It is everything I had hoped and remembered. <laughs> it's a real treat, isn't it, to have food like this? At it's a campsite. Such a treat because you know, visiting food trucks and things like that campsites, you know, you get burgers, pizzas, and that's all great, but this is something a little bit different, and that's what I really love about concierge camping.
So while they're doing some renovation work on site, the main dog walking area is um, restricted in size, but the owners of the Ratham Estate have opened up their front garden, very nice as it is, to be able to walk your dogs in. So we've taken advantage of a brief break in the rain to bring Dozer out to stretch his legs and it is beautiful. So nice. It is nice, but probably the sunshine isn't going to last. I don't think so. <laughs> Tritos for you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Go find Mac. Where's Mac? After a walk, we headed back to the site. We're not doing a full site tour in this video, but we'll link one below from our previous stay. I just love the uh, little graveyard Halloween decorations they've set up in this area. It is so cool. A little bit creepy. I just love all these little dog skeletons trying to get the bones. And look at this loving couple buried side by side, and even in death, they are holding hands. That's going to be me and Mac one day. We absolutely love playing games and board games while we're away in the caravan. So we picked up a couple of new games to bring with us on this trip. One of which is Fox in the Forest Duet, which is a two player card game type of game. And the idea is that you work together to navigate your way through a forest without getting lost and without getting cut off as the forest slowly encroaches on you. And we thought it sounded like the perfect cozy game for a rainy afternoon in the caravan. Once upon a time, a musician went missing in a forest, kidnapped by fairies, and your task in this game is to venture through the forest to save the musician. So this is a trick-taking game, whatever that means. It just feels like playing a turn to me. But you're not allowed to talk to each other, but you do kind of have to almost silently work together to ensure that you're successful. It's a little bit tricky, I'll be honest, to get my head around. So I think it's going to take a few rounds to uh, get used to it. So we're not supposed to communicate? No. So I'm not supposed to give you ideas? No. Right, it moves one. It moves one, but towards you. Towards me. Which is a good thing. Yeah. So I move it. Yes. And then, what about these gems? So you take one gem. If any of you know how to play this game and we're playing it all wrong, please leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. Let us know. <laughs> okay, so you play again yep. first. round of Fox in the Forest duet and it's now time to head to the bar for some drinks. They've got an after eight martini on the menu which I'm very excited to try and there's also a live band so it should be a good fun night. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I just picked up the food from Not So. There was enough for two bags, but I think it's, she said it's because they were awkward size. That's fine. Um, this is, this is, it's not that much. I know. It's fine. She asked me, would you like cutlery? I said, yes, please. She said, how many four? I said, two. And a big smile came across her face. So I think we've <laughs> maybe ordered quite a bit, but to be honest, it doesn't look like that much. I don't think. We basically ordered everything that we didn't have yesterday. Exactly. Yes. So we have some halloumi fries. We have, I think these are the Tokyo fries. We have the crispy prawn bao. Is that that? Mm -hmm. Show me. Very nice. Thank you very much. We have um, some vegetable dumplings. We have some sweet tender stem broccoli with sweet soy, truffle, and toasted sesame. Yum. And then we also have some curry fries. How do you feel? I feel good. I'm looking forward <laughs> to this. Not quite sure where to start. That's the only Let's way. just tuck in. Let's just go. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's no camera-friendly way of eating this. Mm. Good. Oh, that's so good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's good. That's very descriptive. I'm going to keep going until I find some good describing words. Very good. So good. Oh, it was all good. Very, very delicious. It was good. It was delicious. It was delicious and good. <laughs> now, if you saw our video of concierge camping the last time that we were here, they didn't have this undercover area outside. So this is brand new. The roof on this particular part is brand new. So we've been sitting outside and enjoying this food under the heat lamp. So absolutely perfect for an autumn day. got ourselves here a couple of after eight martinis and the guy I was speaking to earlier said if you're gonna have one make it your last drink of the evening because it's a kind of a finisher <laughs> it finishes you off <laughs> but oh my goodness it tastes incredible it tastes exactly like an after eight mint but, oh, that's good. Taxi! <laughs> Well, good morning and welcome to what is shaping up to be a little bit of a rainy day here at Concierge Camping. And we had a couple of plans today. We are hoping, still hoping, to take Dozer for a walk at a nearby ancient woodland called Kingly Vale. And we were planning to have a barbecue. The big question is, will the weather hold up? Well, for now, we're just going to have some breakfast, enjoy a coffee, let the rain ease off, and we'll see how it goes. But of course, whatever we do, we'll take you along for the ride. We are on our way to Kingley Vale. It's only a six minute drive from the site, but the rain has not let up, so we might have to break out our waterproofs when we get there. Well, we have arrived at Kingley Vale, but quite honestly, the weather is atrocious, and we've left our waterproof trousers at the caravan, so I think we're gonna to have to rethink this idea. I have 
left with Mac and Dozer to go back to the car to get warm and dry while I carry on to hunt out some of the 2,000 year old yew trees that Kingly Vale is famous for. Kingly Vale, just outside Chichester, is home to an ancient grove full of mystical twisted yew trees, estimated to be among the oldest living things in Britain, up to 2,000 years old. Just imagine the changes they've watched over. Their survival is said to be remarkable as most ancient yew trees in Europe were felled after the 14th century as they were favoured for use in making English longbows. These trees truly are enormous and local rumour suggests that they were planted in honour of a battle between Vikings and Anglo-Saxons in 859. But I don't know about you, they just really remind me of the Ents in Lord of the Rings. We're back now from our very soggy walk and honestly that rain felt like it was of biblical proportions. And wouldn't you know it, the sun is now shining. But. Uh, it's time for some lunch, so we had in mind a really sort of cosy autumnal lunch of cheese toasties and tomato soup, so I think I'm going to go and make that now. Jaipur is a really fun and super playable game and it's quick to learn. As a successful trader, your objective is to buy and sell goods to become richer than your opponent and so win the favour of the Maharaja. Dozer does not know how to play Jaipur <laughs> and we only just know how to play it. It's a tricky game to get a hang of at first but once you get into the swing of it, it's really good. So we are about to top up the first round and see who won. I bet it's Sarah, actually. So who won that round then? Uh, well, if you could hear me over the rain, I won that round 78 to 64. Yep. So I get a token and we move on and we play another round and it's best out of three. And by the way, if you're wondering why my eye looks a little bruised, it's because I walked into a tree while we were walking in the woods and if I'm brave enough and I don't look like a total idiot I'll insert the clip of me doing it because I put it on camera. <laughs> All for the vlog. <laughs> All for the vlog. He is just too cute. It can't be comfortable though. <laughs> Doesn't look very comfortable does it? Just wants to be close to his dad. Don't ya? <laughs> well, I think Jaipur might be our new favourite travel game because it fits into this tiny box and it is really easy and quick to learn and it's a lot of fun and you also have to incorporate strategy into your selling, buying and trading techniques. So definitely one to recommend. If you like taking games away in your caravan, try this one. Well, the weather has been so foul that we are not even going to attempt to have a barbecue out there. It is too soggy. So instead, we're going to round out our stay at concierge camping by making a couple of autumnal inspired cocktails. Now, we have already made a cocktail making video. <laughs> and if you want to check that out, it's a bit of a giggle. We're going to link it up here and down there as well. But we're going to start by making a very autumnal inspired bourbon and apple fizz, which sounds delicious. Yummy. Okay, we are making this for two, so don't be alarmed at the measures that I'm using. Um, and in true Mac and Sarah style, we have forgotten our cocktail making equipment, so we've forgotten our shaker, our measures, 
So we're going to be fairly liberal, but this is about 100 mil. So we are going for 100 mil of bourbon. I'm not strictly sure that Jack Daniels is true bourbon, but it's as close as we got. So <laughs> it's going in there. So it's 25 mil of lemon juice, which is quite a lot, and I'm hoping we'll get 25 mil out of this one lemon. Oh, that, yeah, I think that is about 25 mil. I'll try not to get the pips in. If we had our gear with our strainer as well. But we don't, so that's that, right? So that's that, lemon juice and bourbon, and then a dash, just a dash, of the Angostura aromatic bitters. What is a dash? I don't know. This is 44% though, so... I'm thinking a bit of a dash. Is that a dash? I think that's one dash. Is that two dashes? Two dashes. All right, two dashes. Now, what comes next is we put it in a cocktail shaker and mix it up with ice. We don't have a cocktail shaker, so we have my water bottle filled with ice. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna That's pop. gonna cause you problems when you uh... You know, it's never going to taste the same. It's never going to taste the same, is it? No. Right, so we pop that in there. Now, for the shake. So now, we pour. It's not exactly, uh, you know, designer cocktail making this, is it? Now we top up with apple, sparkling apple juice. My calling is not as a mixologist. <laughs> so, but let's give them a go, shall we? Well, let's give this bourbon and apple fizz a try. Actually, this is like our third take recording this, so <laughs> <laughs> I've already had a few sips of it, as you can probably tell. But I definitely got a lot of the alcohol in my glass when uh, when we poured this out, so it is very strong. But you can really taste the whiskey, the bitters, and the apples together make a perfect mix. It's a really refreshing, crisp, autumnal kind of drink. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we are a fair way down through this one. <laughs> um, so I think it might be about time to make the next one. What do you reckon? Next up, we are going to make orange hot chocolate. So the main ingredients are whole milk, cream, orange, chocolate and spiced rum. I mean that sounds like a winning combination on top of a really potently strong whiskey cocktail, right? What I could, think so. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Barf. <laughs> spiced rum. And an orange. Zest of one orange. What else? A hundred grams of dark chocolate. Yeah. Single Are you going to hold all this? Single cream, apparently okay. so. And? Whole milk. Some milk. <laughs> let's mix this bad well boy up. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so first off, we need 300 mils of milk. We need to pop that on the stove to warm it. We put some zest of an orange in. Hardly any of it is going in the saucepan. Okay, this is taking a long time, so by the magic of TV, we will skip to the next step. So while the milk is coming to a simmer, I am gonna chop up 100 grams of dark chocolate. So now the milk has come to a simmer, we leave it to infuse with the orange zest for five minutes. Popping in the dark chocolate. So I'm gonna measure out about 75 mil of cream. So we pour the cream in, two shots of Sailor Jerry spiced rum. We are ready to serve our, what's it called? Orange hot chocolate. Orange hot chocolate, is that it? It's just yes, simply orange, orange hot chocolate with spiced rum. Okay, let's try this then. Ooh. Oh, that's like a warm hug. In a mug? In a mug. That is absolutely delicious. And the rum 
you don't taste it at first, all you taste is the creamy chocolate, but the rum, you feel it sort of sliding down your throat. Really warm feeling. Oh, that's gorgeous. We should have had this after that wet and windy walk earlier. Absolutely, we should have done. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. We're gonna leave the recipes for each of these cocktails down below so that you can try them out and let us know which is your favorite. We hope you've enjoyed Thank yous. Thank yous. Can really recommend this site if you are after a site. That's it. With camping. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, cheers. We hope you've enjoyed spending the weekend with us at Concierge Camping. And if you are after a site with just that little bit extra, we can definitely recommend this. We really can. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.